Modern slavery, in essence, is when someone uses their control against another person to try and make profit. They can do that by exploitation, and it covers a range of areas, whether that's uh, sexual exploitation, domestic servitude, labor trafficking, in some cases, forced marriage, and also where we see organ harvesting happening across the world. My name is Tim Nelson. I'm the CEO of Hope for Justice and Slave Free Alliance. So Hope for Justice is an anti-slavery charity that currently operates in seven countries across the world. We've created a, a process, a system that we want to be able to help those individuals. And we do that by preventing exploitation. We do it by rescuing those individuals who are held in some form of slavery and exploitation. So seeing laws change and business approach to this change. The scale of modern day slavery is absolutely enormous. There are estimates of nearly 50 million people that are being held in some form. Of those, we see the high proportion, 27.6 million that are held in some form of labor trafficking. That occurs in every country across the world. At Hope for Justice, we look to identify those individuals who are held in some form of modern day slavery. And we do that in many different ways in the countries that we operate. It can be that we have teams of, drawn from former prestigious law enforcement agencies where we do undercover intelligence gathering and trying to find victims. We go into communities and try and gather information that can lead us to an understanding of where individuals can be held against their will. We partner with other organisations and in that partnering it gives us a better understanding of potentially cases where there could be gangs that are operating and, and trafficking large numbers of individuals. Data is really important in looking and finding patterns for traffickers and perpetrators. So it might be that we can see where traffickers operate geographical areas. We could see where they take their victims from. At Hope for Justice, we're looking to use encrypted data. And that part of that is that we want to try and keep data sensitive. Behind the data are individuals' lives. These individuals have been traumatized. We need to protect them and looking to collaborate with Intel using the SGX technology has been amazing. We can see now by working with other organizations that data can be held safely and securely, but it can be analyzed and used to help us aggregate and, and, and use that data through that analysis to be able to help the individual. So if we rescue an individual and that individual comes from an address, by keeping that data encrypted, it's secure. If another organisation rescues another individual, but from the same address, and it's kept secure, suddenly it links the cases and gives us that intelligence. Now, if we know that multiple victims are coming from the same address, then we can start to build up an effective approach to addressing the issue. At the moment, all of that work is a manual process. It's exciting to think about the possibilities of technology through Intel SGX and actually what that can do in the fight against modern slavery and human trafficking. I, I fully believe that the, the power that we're seeing by working with Intel and the application that it gives us, gives us a tool that is absolutely vital in unlocking freedom for so many victims across the world.